you're watching us on NewsX and NewsX YouTube, I'm going to request my PCR crew to now put what we see on our iPads on the screens for our viewers and I'll also rope in quickly uh, studio guests as well. Mr. Ravi Gupta, former DRDO scientist is with us as well as Mr. Uh, Arjun Hardas. So uh, I will rope in our experts quickly. The video that you see on your screens right now is what has been of course released by ISRO as the animation for what is going to happen uh, on the 7th of September. So what you see right now is of course uh, the lander that was scanning the surface of the moon. It's going to be landing on the surface of the moon in about uh, cover a distance of about 30 kilometers in 15 minutes. There you see it's going to land. That information will then be relayed to the earth and of course uh, then the flap opens up and we see the rover Pragyan uh, which will then come out of the lander and this entire process will take about uh, four hours for the rover to actually descend and come out and then of course the rover begins its operations. It's a tiny robot uh, which can only cover a distance of about 500 meters and this entire uh, operation will go on for 14 days. It's one lunar day which is 14 days on earth and that's uh, uh, the reason behind that is of course the fact that that's all the sunlight that this particular part of the moon receives. Let me now rope in uh, all the experts with us in the studio to explain this bit by bit. I'm going to ask Mr. Ravi Gupta, sir. This, of course, is the most crucial part of what we're waiting for. What we see on our screens right now is the landing, uh, landing uh, aspect of it. If you could explain to our viewers what really do we mean by a soft landing? See, when we uh, land on the surface of earth. Earth has atmosphere, so you can use the aerodynamics and slowly come down safely like we come do it in the case of a helicopter or an aircraft or a parachute. But incidentally, moon has practically no atmosphere. It is almost a vacuum over there. So, how do we come down? How, we, how do we slowly reduce our speed and touch down? What we need to do is something of the reverse of firing motors. When you are taking off as we did on earth on mm -hmm. 22nd, 22nd of July, we fired the rocket motors downwards towards earth and lifted up. Now this time what we are going to do is again fire the rocket motors towards the surface of moon so that the speed slowly comes down and it has to come down in such a manner that it very very softly lands and all the four legs as you can see there are four legs in this lander all of them should touch down nearly at the same time so that the, the lander does not get destabilized. So that is why it is a very very crucial moment as we are all aware the success rate is very very less many people have failed but our scientists have done their homework very meticulously and we are fully confident that we will be successful in landing in the first time itself. Okay, so this is of course sir, a photograph that we see on our screens of uh, the animation, the animated uh, video that was put out by ISRO. So you are saying that uh, the four legs that we are looking at right here uh, need to land almost together. So this is what uh, is uh, one crucial aspect of the landing that you uh, claim uh, is something that we need to be looking out for uh, when uh, Vikram does make that uh, landing tomorrow. And also, so if you could also tell our viewers a little bit about the entire process that goes behind, uh, you know, slowing down of the rocket because we're covering a distance of 30 kilometers tomorrow in a window of 15 minutes. And those 15 minutes have been called the most crucial 15 minutes of the entire operation. So, sir, uh, Mr. Gupta, if you could just explain to our viewers why are those 15 minutes the most crucial? As I said that all the four, the rocket motors in the four legs and in the center, they have to work in such a manner that they do not allow the lander to get destabilized. And that is why it is very crucial. Any small mistake in this process which it can and, and mind you this is not uh, being controlled at this moment by, from the earth. Right. The entire intelligence of how to do it, how to take decisions, this you can say our scientists have designed and made a brain inside the lander and lander is now in working in a completely autonomous mode with the artificial intelligence built into the its brain. So that is why 
all the decisions have to be taken independently based on there are variations in the gravity, there are variations in the rotation of the moon and slight variations, anything slight, any wrong, uh, any kind of a mismatch between the four legs, it can totally destabilize and lead to, lead to a crash. So, that is why these last minutes, the 15 minutes are extremely important and crucial and critical as the as we scientists have been telling that the heartbeat almost stops when you are uh, taking up this kind of a maneuver. Right, absolutely. And we also have Dr. V. N. Jha uh, with us on the broadcast and I would like to rope you in sir as well. So, of course, uh, Mr. Ravi Gupta has been explaining why those 15 minutes are crucial. If you could just quickly sir take our viewers through uh, the specifics of what we are looking at right now, Vikram, the lander, uh, you know this uh, uh, particular nozzle that we are looking at and this is going to be playing that major role of slowing down the operations as far as the lander is concerned. Mr. Jha. Uh, lander is uh, going with the velocity of 1.6 kilometers approximately per second and that is a hell of a lot of velocity and uh, it has got the uh, thruster with it with which it will be slowing down and that slow down has to be with the 15 minutes. So, you can imagine uh, right now it is traveling with a velocity of 1.6 kilometers and within those 15 minutes rather less than 15 minutes, it has to slow down to almost zero velocity, zero forward velocity. So, it has got a huge thrust of about uh, 800 newtons uh, through all these five uh, nozzles that it has got. So, all those five nozzles will be burning on its uh, peak to slow it down and then up it comes about say 100 meters uh, above the surface, then thereafter slow descent uh, will be there as uh, just now Mr. Gupta has explained to you. So, uh, you know, the, uh, the issue cause, because it is going to land uh, very softly onto the surface, so that is how they call it uh, landing. But we also add one more element that since this entire landing is going to be processed through the software or the install handle. So, that is also another element of the soft landing. So, that is the process how it is going to be landing. And uh, uh, as uh, you must have also heard Dr. Uh, Shivan uh, explaining how it is all going to be there. See, the lunar surface has got a lot of dust. So, when it is coming down, those dust will be there. And these dust have got a peculiarity that it sticks with some amount of uh, very mild force surface. Mm -hmm. So, how they have designed it is initially all these five burners, five burners burning, and then thereafter, when it comes very close, then only the central nozzle will be on. So, with the central nozzle, all the dust that is within the uh, between the lander and the surface will be blown away. Because you must remember, there is no atmosphere, there is no air on the lunar surface. So, all this uh, dust which is going to be the air, as it has to be blown out by the engine, or it will again slowly on the surface subsequently. So, this is the intricacy about the uh, soft landing. And one more element, as he must have also explained, that after it comes down from that 100 meters down, it has to very precisely pick up the landing spot. Right now, it has already identified two spots. It may be there, but in case when it comes so low and then it finds that the surface is not even, it will be maneuvering a bit uh, onto the Absolutely. side to find uh, exactly the uh, surface. Absolutely. Same so, surface. So, I, so, I'll come to no. that as well, sir. Let's come to that in detail. Yeah. I was coming to that, the landing yeah. site that we're looking at. So, this is the landing site that has been chosen right now, um, which is about 70 degrees south of the moon and 20 degrees east uh, in terms of the longitude. So, this is the landing site. Uh, that has been uh, chosen as of now and it will be landing between two craters. We are looking at uh, Manzanus C and Simplenius N. So, these are the two craters uh, between which uh, Vikram will be landing. So, uh, Mr. V.M. Jha and also uh, Mr. Gupta, then I will rope you in as well, sir. But uh, Dr. Jha, if you could tell our viewers, um, this is of course the landing site that we have chosen. But sir, at the same time, uh, what are the factors that will con will be contributing tomorrow when this landing is actually supposed to take place in real time? Dr. Jha. Yeah. See, tomorrow in the morning after the lander has slowed down to almost zero forward velocity, 
it will be hovering at around the place of landing. Now, within that uh, 100 meters or so, it will have to pick up that particular spot. So, you, you must remember that it has got a lot of fuel with it, and the fuel will be giving it the lift, the, the, the opposite lift. Uh, so, it will come slowly down and land at that and the control is going to be there only the five nozzles that it has. So with this five nozzles, it will be coming slowly down. And uh, you understand that the south pole uh, is uh, an area where the ducts are there, but it is lesser than the equator. So the, they have picked up the, the place where, where they have found that there is a you know, mari on one side and there is a there is a uh, ridge on the other side, mm -hmm. and there is a space uh, where the flat surface are apparently being seen. But you must remember, when Apollo had gone with the man landing there on the surface, what uh, uh, Americans have identified the absolutely plain surface, when they actually went for landing, they found that it was uneven and uh, very, very uneven. So they had to finally uh, uh, shift their location site. So this must be remember that what apparently looked from 30 kilometers, uh, absolutely smooth surface that has to be again re when the lander comes to about uh, 100 meters down mm -hmm. and then pick up that spot. It's a very small, you know, four legs are within a diameter of very small area. So that is not right. much of a problem. So it has to be there. It has to be uh, absolutely vertical, I mean, uh, horizontal surface, uh, not exceeding the slant of more than 12 degrees. If it is more than 12 degrees, it may be with the lat that force landing, it may topple over. That is what Professor Stephen will also mention that it has to land by and large vertically, softly, gently, without any uh, jet onto the side or four legs right. sitting down together. Absolutely. And Dr. Gupta, I, I want to rope you back into the conversation so quickly. Uh, there is then a possibility tomorrow that uh, if this site, the one that we've chosen right now, uh, it's possible that this may not then be the final site and what would be then uh, the aspects that contribute towards uh, the lander making that decision because like you said, uh, it's not it's no longer in our hands this is uh, it's like a you know it's a machine that's operating on its own it's artificially intelligent uh, it's artificial intelligence that's operating tomorrow so it's not in our hands where to exactly land it or to even make that communication so the lander with its own brain will be deciding so if you could sir just the last aspect if you could take our viewers to what are the most important aspects and is there a possibility then of uh, the landing site changing and what are the uh, aspects that contribute towards uh, making that decision? Yeah. See, as I said that this lander has to land vertically downwards with the rocket motors firing towards the surface of the moon. Now when these four legs are touching down, the surface on which it is landing has to be plain. There should not be any surface local small roughnesses and the plane, mm -hmm. the angle, they, it should be planar, it should not be at an angle. Suppose the tilt is too much, it, not like this, it is something like this. So, what will happen? It may topple down. Okay. One leg touches, the other leg, leg not touching, it means the entire thing will get destabilized and it will topple down and we may lose it. Because when it is touching down, it has got some shock absorbers. The speed even at the time of touchdown is about 2 meters per second, which is fairly high speed you can imagine a car or a truck moving at the speed of about 6 kilometers or 7 kilometers per hour and if it hits a wall what is going to happen. So that impact has to be absorbed and if it is not absorbed by all the four legs simultaneously. So there is a tolerance which to which it can work if the if the, the although the site has been thoroughly studied earlier and also by the orbiter before the lander separated out and now in these few days it has been studied further by the lander's cameras. But then even then when you take a closer look when you are only a few meters above the surface it will again take a decision whether it is suitable or not. The primary decision making factor is the angle if it is plain or it is not. So if it is not it will hover over there shift to the other important site we have chosen it because it is a high land mm -hmm. between the two craters and these craters are supposed to be having a lot of water frozen in its depth. It is a very deep crater and okay. because uh, the sunlight is not able to reach the bottom of the crater, 
we the, the probability of finding water a huge quantity of water frozen as ice is much larger as compared to the surface. So, these we are landing between the two craters and there if the surface the, the surface is not plain enough we may lose the lander. So, it will take the final decision when it is very close to it to study the surface and if it find that it is not appropriate it may shift to the alternate site. All right. Okay. So, that was of course, us explaining to you what really is going to be happening when Vikram does uh, make that crucial decision of where it is going to land tomorrow. Thank you for watching. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.